Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got another slider tutorial to show you. This one is combining the funky flowers from my first collection with the super slider dies from my second collection. And I've also used the balloon embossing folder on this piece. I wanted to see if it would work and it has and um, I'm really pleased with it. So although it's a subtle kind of emboss there, it is there and I just think it's quite nice. And then with these ones, if you haven't seen it, you just pull the top and then it will reveal your hidden message. Have a blooming marvellous birthday for my best bud. And then you can display it like this, or if the recipient, you can put another message there as well, but if they would rather close it, then it's a top folding card and it will stand up like so, and you have all that space inside to write your message. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so this is the die set I'm using. So it's the 6x6 Circle Super Slider die set. It's the most popular. It's already sold out once and we've had a restock and those levels are low again. So it's just such a handy one. I think it's the shoe, I always say it, that people have, are kind of drawn to and uh, the lips and bits and pieces there. But today I wanted to kind of not use the accessories, only this circle, the main mechanism. And then I'm using the Funky Flowers, which is from my first collection. So this was part of the wonderful wipers. And um, as I promised, the whole, you know, as this collection builds, I want you to be able to kind of, you know, mix and match and, and use things from old collections with the newer ones and it all work nicely together. So I've gone ahead, I had this idea of doing kind of like a, a wreath. And I love this little stamp sand. Um, it's a bouquet of tulips and then you have the fist kind of clenched there, which in a minute when we stamp, I'm going to have it so that it's holding a bunch in the centre of them. And then all of the other flowers are going to be around the outside. So that's going to be the real main kind of, um, you know, focal point. So I've die cut two of the circle in the white because I want to stamp onto it. So if I just show you how the dies look. So I've just used this one here. Um, I made a lovely card called the dome card using this here and the shoe was inside this kind of like glass dome box or something like that you know it was like a display um, it's really lovely and um, if I remember I'll link that one up here actually so I've die cut the circle twice and then I have die cut so I've cut myself a six by six card blank this was a piece of six by this was a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and then I just cut it in half and then scored along halfway, so six inches to fold in half to make your six by six card. Then I've cut a piece of five and three quarters paper to go inside for my mat layer. And I also cut another piece of five and three quarter to mat on the front, like so. Then these ones here are die cuts. So this one is your mechanism pull out piece. So that's that one there. So I've just die cut that one once. And then this one here, is your main square which I've die cut once as well. You then need this piece which is the main slider mechanism and that's what I'm going to now die cut onto this piece here. So I'll pop that to one side. So what I was thinking as well is actually I'm going to die cut this first and then I'm going to emboss it because I quite like the thought of having this as an embossed piece. Um, I haven't done it before with the sliders, so we're, you know, we're gonna try it here first, but I think it will work. So first of all, you want to, with the mechanism, you wanna bring it down to the bottom. Um, so you've got about a quarter of an inch or so. I mean, you can have it higher if you want, but if you have it lower, you don't have so much of your pull tab sticking out because this pull tab piece will stick to the bottom. And I've got other tutorials explaining this as well, and I'll link them in this video along the way. But you see there, I want it to stick out about that much. So I'm going to keep it so that it's about there. Make sure you've got a nice even amount if you want to get your ruler just to measure that, and make sure it's all nice and straight. And then I'm just going to pop some tape within this middle bit. I always say it, but if this was to rip your cardstock, at least this area here is going to be covered with all of this, so you'd never notice. So now I'm just going to pop that in there and run that through. Okay, and then I can just carefully peel that away. Okay, so you can see now that's all cut out and it will leave this top piece attached. It will just cut on the three sides, which is what you want. And there'll be three score lines there. But I'm going to, before I burnish that, I'm going to now run it through my balloon embossing folder because it's a birthday card. So we've got the bouquet of flowers and then we're going to have the balloons. And yeah, I think it'd be a subtle, you know, look because you're only going to see it on the, you know, the, the kind of the side pieces here and on that back bit, but we'll try it. So this was part of the first collection again as well. So I'm just going to set up my dye machine to do this one. Bring that up. Can you see? How cool is that? Just another different technique, something different to try with this. So next you want to fold that top score line away from you. So you create a valley fold. 
Then that middle score line, which I can just about see, I might have squashed it a little bit because I did emboss it, but it's still there. You're going to then make into a mountain. And then that last one will become a valley. Like so. So now you've got your, if I can hold it properly, you've got your slider there, okay? Next, you want to grab that white five and three quarter piece, and I'm just, just going to lay that on the top, and I'm going to bring up this about halfway, and I'm just going to mark off my area that I will need to stamp my sentiment. So just roughly with a little bit of pencil there, very lightly with your pencil, just on the four sides. And then I think I'm going to have have a blooming marvellous birthday because on the circle I'm going to have for my best bud. So I'm going to take this one. And what I might also do is stamp some of the the bouquet kind of coming into this area so again it's just more of that pattern coming down into this section so I'm just going to sit that one there okay so that's that one and then I'm going to take the bouquet which I've got ready here already and then ink that up I only want I don't need to do all of it because basically what I want to do is just have a little bit kind of poking in because this is all going to get covered so it doesn't matter really what you do with this you don't want to go right off into that little kind of quarter of an inch or one eighth of an inch border that you're going to have, but certainly just do another one maybe here. I just think it's quite nice just to see little bits of the flowers coming down. So again, if you sit over this piece, once I colour them in, I might do a couple on the bottom. Can you see there what you're going to get? I think that's going to look really nice. So I think I'm going to just clean the bottom there because I want to just do a little bit so I'm just inking up just the very top there just so I can do a little bit of there now can you see I've just gone over into my frame I thought I'd cleaned it enough so what I can do is I've got this eraser and it's really good <laughs> for taking away any ink and it's just removed that I'm not too worried about going up that high but now if I just sit this back over again there we go yeah see it's disappeared now so I haven't got it there so it's, it's really handy so I'm just going to wipe the bottom of that because I do want to do another one just there okay, I think I've got away with that one so it looks a bit of a mess at the minute but it's all going to hopefully come together really nicely there we go so I just wanted to create you know that little kind of scene there and then once those are all on the top I think it's all going to come together really nicely so that's ready for me to colour I'm just going to remove I'm going to take that bit off there just in case that does come out but just remove your pencil marks okay so I've just stuck that onto my card blank and it's top folding okay and what I'm going to do now is colour those all in and then I can get my mechanism stuck down and then we can start building the top So I've coloured that all in. Now one thing I was thinking when I was colouring, you also get your finger pull die. So with this piece here, before you fold and burnish, and basically when you die cut this piece, you want to also attach this piece along the top, like so. You can see there. And it will cut your finger pull for you to be able to easily pull this piece out but this does also stick out you can trim it I've showed different ways of doing this with all the demos and everything so I'm actually going to leave it off today because this will still stick out and I'll be able to stamp the word pull I can see how much is going to stick out in a moment yeah I've got plenty of room there so I'm going to leave it off so again you know there's a few ways to, to change this but now I want to stick this piece onto here and then attach this onto the card so on the back I'm just going to use some of my red tape you want to run some tape along the bottom section so 
with this last little rectangle you're just going to run some tape along there Take that off move this away so it's easy for you to see now this piece here you're going to stick the bottom of this to the bottom of this piece here if you just lay it down on here so you've got an even amount on each side and then you want to slide it down over this piece here so it will stick and it's nice and straight so you're just lining it up there double check that's all okay and then just stick that down flip it over and then pull it up all right next you can add your tape along here here and here so again I'm going to use that same one I think this is the quarter of an inch this is crafters companion but it fits perfectly down here you don't want to go you know underneath this white piece because it will stop it working it needs to have that that room to move up and down and now we want to stick it over here so we start from the bottom make sure I've got an even white border nice and straight like so and then just kind of roll that up like so so you can see my white frames nice and neat and now this is what I mean about it you know it does stick out you can pull that up and we've got that piece there it looks really nice I'm glad I've done the flowers coming in from all the corners there so next I want to start building up this you know this is kind of like I said the the real focal point so but what I need to bear in mind is these, I want the flowers to come right the way round, all the way down there. You can't go past this fold here. I know lots of you have this, so you'll know what to do, but you want to make sure. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick the circle down first, and then I'm going to attach these onto the, onto the circle, and then I can stamp this one, and then this circle is going to go over the top, so it's going to sandwich them in between. So we'll get this down first of all. Okay, like so. Now what I'm going to do is leave it flat so I can start building up. So you need to make sure that whatever you stick doesn't go past that score line there. So I can bring, I'm going to actually have this one stuck down first because this is going to come up higher and then the rest are going to kind of fan out. So I might end up moving the circle, might end up being stuck like that, but you won't know because the other one underneath will all be covered. But I just want to, you, and you've got all this space here, you can fill, you know, you can go right out to the sides because it will all still fit in your envelope. You've just got to make sure that bottom one doesn't go past. So I can just get that one in there. So I'm going to add my glue onto the back. And then just lay that one down as close as I can get it without it interfering. If you bring it up, you can move it down as far as you can, like so. So you can see I've just gone right down there. But that means that that will come up easily. So now I'm going to pop it on high speed, but I'm going to start building up all of these. Okay, so it's all stuck down I really really like it but when I put this one over the top I think it's too big I want to see more of the green so I'm going to die cut that a bit smaller so I'm just using this one here so I'm just going to run that through okay so I've just shrunk that down a little bit smaller so now when I pop it on here you can just see a bit more of the green and I just think it looks really nice so next I want to do a little bit of stamping so I've got the fist stamp there and then I need the flower again. So first of all, I'm going to use this as just my kind of guide to where I need to have this one stamped because I'm going to do a little bit of masking. So I think about there because I want to stamp for my best bud just there, I think. So I'm going to have this will need to be about there, I think. So I think that's going to be good. So I'm just going to grab my ink there. And I'm going to just put that one just there. Okay. Now I did have a masked one already done, but I obviously have lost it. So I've just got some masking sheets here. These, these ones are by For the Love of Stamps, but I've had the ones by the Stick2 brand um, and there's Crafters Companion. There's quite a few companies, but I'm just going to stamp it again on this masking sheet and I'm just going to fussy cut that. 
Okay, so I've just cut it right up to the black stamped line. I've just peeled the backing off and I'm just going to lay it right back over that image. Okay, keep that release paper there because I will save this and pop it there so I can see it on something. So now I want the bouquet stamp. Oh, ink this one up. I think these spare ones I'm going to pop on the envelope or maybe on the piece that comes out the top as well because you've got room there to put more sentiments as well. But now I want to do it so that a little bit of the stem pokes out the bottom of that fist and then about there. There we go. So now I can just peel this back away and there we have that masked effect. So now it looks like the bouquet is, you know, actually in the fist, like, you know, gripped within the fist there. I think it looks really, really cool. Then I can stamp my sentiment. So for my best bud. And in fact, I'll have that at the top now, so I seem to have more room, because I think, yeah, that's going to go there. So we we'll keep it nice and centred and pop it just there. There we go. So now I'm going to colour that one in. Okay, so I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks lovely. Next, I'm going to just use some foam, I think, for this, because there's a lot of, you know, just, I think with all these bouquets here, they've where they've overlapped each other, they've become quite dimensional. So I think by adding the foam, in fact, I might just add just a couple on top of each other, just in the center there, and I think that's gonna be enough. There you go. So now I can pull the top of that. And I think that I'd love this. I think it's just, it's so nice. I was just trying to think of, you know, other ways to use things. I'm just wondering, actually, yeah, I think because now I could go a bit higher there with that one. I might just layer that in front. So that's a nice thing because I put it on the foam. I think that could just, we could just have one just a little bit higher there. So I'm just going to pop that in there. So it doesn't matter if it covers that one. Okay, so while that's just drying, in this stamp set here, unfortunately it's still sold out. So um, yeah, we are waiting and we're waiting for more to come in. But it's got the pull. But I showed on another tutorial, you can just write it. You can, um, you know, use some of your letter stamps if you have them and spell it out that way. But I'm just going to ink this up. And if you've got my Papercraft Society kit with the slider card, there was the pull in that one as well, so you could always use that. So I'm just going to pop that there. And there we go. So, you know, the, the instruction is there if people want it, but you have to be careful what you, if you do stick anything on this piece because it is you know, you don't want it to catch as it goes back under. Now I did show on one of them, I'll link it, where you can turn this into a gift card holder and you basically, instead of putting tape here, you put foam tape, so it's slightly lifted, so it will allow you to be able to slide a gift card under. But rather than stick them, I think I might stamp them, just so it's just something else there. But you may want to have another sentiment stamped. But you imagine if I've got those three, like so, and then I could put, well, I haven't forgot, I don't want to use it up to daisy, so maybe nothing there, but if you've got another sentiment, you can certainly put something on there. But you'll probably see that in the photos if I've decided to do that. But now, that's how it is. It'll all fit into your envelope, and you pull it up. For my best bud, have a blooming, marvellous birthday. I think it's turned out lovely. Okay, so I'll just bring it up a bit closer there for you to see. And just pull that up. You can see all of that lovely detail there as well. And with these cards, someone can, you know, whoever you give it to can display it like this, but also if they decide they want to do it that way, they can, and it will stand up really nicely and it still looks great as well. So thank you for watching. As always, all the product will be linked below and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Bye.